so I am at the uh, Dubai Expo and I came across our booth Uganda and uh, with a few of our colleagues from Parliament outside it's really beautiful with uh, a nice photo of that child and here is our door to the Expo as you can see and now <laughs> when you come in uh, you've now walked into Uganda actually but uh, I don't know whether I should say this we got here we are a few members of Parliament and we found no one at the reception and no one to guide us so Honorable Ndugua Robert Migande has, is now the receptionist. Uh, Honorable Janet here yeah, uh, has, has taken over. And you have Honorable, the woman representative of uh, Gago, you have other members of parliament in the background. There is nobody to give us any information. Uh, just a few bags of coffee, some lato. You know, visitors have to invite themselves in, show themselves around, and go away. That is how our tourism is working. We have a photo of the Bombardier there, and some, some cards that have some charges, like absolutely no guide Uganda. No one to give information. This is honorable. Honorable is here, he's getting annoyed. <laughs> Honorable is getting annoyed. He has just gotten to his Uganda pavilion and there is no one in here except a video uh, playing and some water. Yeah, there is a TV there showing internet connectivity, subscription, some information about the country. It's beautifully designed, except that it's not manned. We have someone, some proud Ugandan lady sitting at the equator. We have carried the equator to this pavilion in Dubai. Yeah, but that's how the cookie crumbles. The Uganda cookie. No one, no staff. Maybe they work during the early hours of the morning but as of now it's tv's entertaining people